are going to plant up a beautiful fall time container. In addition to planting up a fall time container, we are also going to go do a little bit of shopping. I'm going to take you guys along with me because I'm in need of some fall inventory for outdoor. Now, with that being said, I do want to go ahead and just put together a real quick arrangement, something beautiful, nothing over the top. So come on, you guys, let's go grab the plants. And then from there, we'll head out to, I think I want to stop by Home Depot. And then I also want to stop by a nursery. I don't know yet, but I know Home Depot for sure, because my Google girlfriend called me earlier and she said that they had some beautiful deals there. So I'm going to run over to the one that she was talking about and hopefully the stuff that they have for sale is not on death's door knocking or it's not all gone so let's start off with planting up the container and so we're going to just plant it right here because you guys i am like totally obsessed with this window box honey not necessarily this over here which i think we'll end up getting to this this week and I know I've been saying that it's not a priority for me because I do kind of want to see what it's going to be doing. Let's get this container planted up because I need my entire ambiance out here to be matching, to be flowing because you guys, it's just how I am. Look at this. Woo! Woo! Now tell me that ain't fall. Tell me that ain't to the fall, honey. It is. So for all of my containers in the bottom, there is a very big drainage hole here. What I do is I come in and I take this wire right here and I go ahead and I cover it up. So that stops the soil from falling out. You guys, I love it. It is absolutely amazing. The colorway is just perfect. It's giving us those fall vibes. So let me tell you what all we use in here. We use the begonias. Now your begonias are going to be quite hardy. Then we came in with a mum, a floral mum. Then we also use some roses. Now, have you guys ever noticed in your landscape, your roses start to kind of pick back up around the fall time. They can take some of those cooler temperatures. So they're gonna be absolutely perfect for this arrangement here. And then we use, so begonia, we use some roses, we use some floral mums, and then we dress the bottom of the container with some beautiful pansies, the same pansies that we have in the window box here. So again, we're giving kind of that nod to everything that we have going on. So let me show you what we did here. Let me show you what we did here. We're at Home Depot. Let's see what they have in the way of cabbages. So here are these cabbages right here, but it's not really the look that I'm going for. I mean, all of these moms, 
there are no fresh mums put out let me scoot back so you guys can see it all of the mums just look tired like they need to be just pulled and I don't see them putting out any fresh mums either so if this is what we have for selection as far as mums then these are slim pickings honey all right see these so like all of these are bloomed out the only way i'm using these is if i have an event that i need to actually just have that flower power right in place or doing a video shoot or something like that but for the most part i don't want no flowers that's already bloomed out like this and then you see how this one right here is lopsided because it's not being turned but what I am more interested in is these four packs here. So I love to use these four packs in mix, mixed containers. They're absolutely beautiful. And for the price, $4.98, you can't beat it. So this is one of the ways that I like to save money with my containers. And definitely any type of cabbages like this that I've bolted, I absolutely do not use these either. So what we'll do is we'll start getting what we need so and then also for comparison size okay so if we compare the size of these two they're not really that much of a difference in size you may have a few more leaves on the bigger one but you can get a total of four for this one size right here so what you do is you look at this four pack as a whole let's get what we need okay So already I can see the moms over here, over here, over there, honey. Yes. All right, let's see. In the way of cabbages and kale, those are going to be your staples for your containers. Yeah. All right. So these look pretty good. Oh, really? some more of these these look pretty good let's see what mums they have the mums are looking good the colors are pretty good I love this color and you guys, with your mums, we're still kind of having those heat waves right now. So what you want to do is you kind of want to get the mums that's more closed up like this. But actually, if you can find one that's more like this. Let's look. Okay. Right here. Perfect. And it's in the shade. So ones like this, this would be how I would be getting my mums. Just like this. And you might not be able to see the color. But if you kind of look down here, it should give you, you know, some type of thought of what the color might look like. But sometimes it might be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. So this is how we get my mom's because we still have a little bit of heat. Now in the St. Louis region, we are kind of like on the cool side, but then we're also heating up on days. So it just all depends. So let's look over here. see what type of inventory they have over here now so more moms here and see a lot of these are blooming out quick because of the temperatures but that's okay we're having a hotter than normal season but I'll take it these small ones, they're really good, especially the used on top of your tabletop containers. So this is about the extent of the mums. Let's look at the hydrangeas while we're here. 
Oh, now these containers are cute. But the only thing you guys see, the paint is already chipping on it. So I would definitely pass these. But they're cute. I like a good square container. Oh, these palms are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these beautiful fiddly figs. Okay, focus, focus. I'm not focusing, you guys. See, I just got off track that quick. That quick. Oh, and these containers are actually on sale. What material is this? It seems like it's like a resin. But they're on sale for $30, you guys, at Home Depot. Let's keep looking. Now, these are cute. Some more hostas, but we're looking for things that we can use inside of our fall containers. These around this way, so we can go ahead and scan these. So I'll make our checkout extra quick. Okay, let's scan. Go ahead and pay. Please remove your card. Would you like an e-receipt? need some darker cabbages and kale so these ones right here absolute beauty because it has that dark color on the inside of it so it's going to give us the contrast that we need so let's grab some of these all right let's take this one Here is our inventory that we have so far. There is one more tray I need to go and get out. But you guys, look at these cabbages. Right here, we have two cabbages in there. So when you're shopping, if you can get the ones with two in there, it's going to stretch your budget even further. Two and two. Now granted, the ones with two are not going to be as big as these ones, but just plan out for that two and two we have all of the plants out of the car now so this plant haul was heavy on cabbages and kale because you guys i'm just not getting warmed up over here for my show we have all of the plants out of the car this plant haul was heavy on looking for cabbages and kale now I am just now getting warmed up with my fall show, you guys. I love, love, love to go over the top. Y'all know I'm extra. If you guys are new, welcome, 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 baby. We put out a ton of garden content over here. And you guys, I wish I had a team behind me because we would totally put out even more content than what we put out now. But I love to garden. So come on, join the channel. It's absolutely free, you guys. And when I tell you we cuts up over here, we cuts up. Not only on the videos, but down there in the comment section, honey, we cuts up. So you guys, we have a ton of cabbages and kale. We're just now getting warmed up for the fall. I'm very excited. And I'm glad that you guys came along with me for this plant haul. Now, if you guys are still watching right now, I want you to drop down in the comment box and I want you to put fall container, okay? Because you guys, are we cutting up? Are we cooking with some great shit? I don't know. You let me know. We'll continue this conversation down in the comment box. I gotta go get all of these plants inside of the waiting area so they can get planted.